So today we're just uh, looking at the foundation stone here in the church. Uh, many of you are probably not familiar with it as it's up here on the sanctuary. Uh, not normally you can get close up to it. Um, but recently I was just given this uh, souvenir of the laying of the foundation stone of the new church by a parishioner. I'll just quote a little bit from it. During 1956, the plans for the new church were approved and work commenced. The foundation stone was blessed and laid by Bishop Beck on October the 13th in the absence of Father Wilkin, confined to bed. So the work goes on and Father Wilkin hopes soon to see the fulfilment of the hopes he entertained when he first came to Didsbury 28 years ago. He looked upon his appointment then as a life's work to set up the necessary buildings before he laid down his arms. By the time the church and rectory are finished, he will be nearly at the end of his tenor. But he will thank God that he has preserved him to see the completion of school, church and rectory before he retires and leaves the work of the parish to a younger and stronger man. So we remember Father Wilkin and his successes as priest here in our parish as well as all the parishioners who made it all possible contributed to everything that we have here and built up everything that we've got. We're so grateful for that and we're blessed at the moment to have Father Michael, an assistant priest, a gifted scholar in Greek and Latin, so he's going to translate the Latin uh, on the uh, foundation stone for us. Yeah, I'll try anyway. I'll just say, first of all, you'll be able to see a, a more close-up image of the foundation stone on our social media and on our website. And also the picture we've got there and the souvenir booklet that Father John just read from. So just a rough summary of what it says on the foundation stone. So it starts off with D-O-M, which is uh, to God the greatest, uh, the, the, the very best, the greatest. And then uh, essentially it says on the 13th of October 1956, uh, Bishop George Beck of Salford blessed this foundation stone, solemnly blessed this foundation stone and laid it in this new church of St. Catherine of Siena. And he was with uh, the Reverend Charles Wilkin, who, as Father John just said, was the first parish priest, lived to be aware of the church uh, being uh, built here, the project he started. And then it just says, a great crown to the reverend clergy and the faithful people. So that's the people who contributed to the building of the parish. It says something similar on most foundation stones, but that's basically what it says there. 13th of October, 1956, Bishop George Beck blessed and laid this foundation stone. We have this photograph as well of the laying of the foundation stone. And I wonder if this little altar server who's looking rather puzzled out from the photograph is still around. Anybody knows him or if he's watching, maybe he can get in touch. And uh, we just remember all the priests and people of our parish. We just say a prayer for them in this month of May. We ask the prayers of our Blessed Lady for all who've gone before us and we laid, we laid the foundation of this parish. We, in a way, stand upon them what they did and we seek to continue. Uh, good work, we remember them as we say together. Hail Mary, full, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and, and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As most of them have now passed from this world of deceased, we say, eternal rest, grant unto them all, and, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen.